see this thing? This is one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. Aside from yourself and myself. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So today we've got some parts to match the headlights and I think you guys are gonna like these. When I bought this truck, I said we're gonna try to keep it fairly simple, keep it clean, nothing too crazy. I wanted to keep it classic looking and try to make as few changes as possible to try to keep that effect that the truck gives you when you see it. However, I requested that we do a couple of tasteful upgrades and you guys said to do all clear lighting clear lighting for the front end, cab lights, and tail lights most specifically. So that's what we're gonna be doing to complete the look today. We're gonna be doing the new tail lights on the truck and new cab lights and cab light lenses on the truck. Right now, they're amber on the top for the cab lights. The fronts, of course, the clear housing and LEDs and stuff looks freaking sick. But in the back, we've got these red tail lights. Now, these, they look good on this truck, but they, they do pretty much match the paint. I mean, they are just very, very red and it matches the paint on the truck almost, almost identically actually when you stand back. So we're gonna be changing that all out. I actually forgot to even think about getting a freaking rear cab light or third brake light. Now maybe I can order one up here and get one in. But yeah, we're gonna be changing out the tail lights on this thing and the cab lights. So let's get to unboxing what we've got here and show you what we went with. So let's first get to opening our new set of tail lights to show you what we went with. Here they are. Sweet. So then on the back here, you've got your plug-in for your tail light. I'm only seeing the one, so I don't know if that's accurate or if there's another one in here somewhere. But I guess there's just the one, and then this is for your reverse bulb down here, it looks like. And like I said, same with the headlights, which are in that big box right there. I'm gonna keep the headlights and these taillights with the truck in case the winner decides they want to change it back to the original look. Now, when putting these taillights in, it comes with this little box here, and you have gotta remove this adhesive thing here. There's like this plastic, you gotta just peel it off, and then there's an adhesive strip on there, and then you'll actually stick this to the inner part of the uh, taillight housing here, basically right here on, this, on the part of the bed. You'll just stick it right in there and it'll stick on there and actually like sit down on that little metal tab right there. And then, um, I don't know why this is on here, but I'm guessing it's because of all the LEDs in this tail light that now it needs something to piggy tail off the wiring to it to be able to handle it. So we're gonna get to installing this right now. I'm gonna turn on my hazard lights in the daytime. Well, I guess the hazards aren't working back here. Maybe the key's gotta be turned forward or something. There we go, let's see if that helps. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, there's the hazard light. Stock. Okay, your stock hazard light, your stock blinking light. And the aftermarket ones. This like C-shaped LED, that stays on all the time in terms of when you have your daytime lights on. And then your reverse bulb is just, I just use the same one. You can swap it out with an LED. I just use the same reverse bulb that I already had. It worked totally fine and I can see just fine at night. Um, but that just went in right there down low. And because of the way the style of the housing is, you can't even tell that it's just a generic bulb down there. Looks really freaking good. Can't wait to get these tablets swapped out too. There are the tail lights installed, looking good. And now we're gonna work on the cab lights. And let me show you what we got for the cab lights on here currently. They're just the factory amber cab lights. And we're gonna be swapping those out with these cab lights, which are a clear lens 
cab light. And not only that, but we also have LEDs for the cab lights as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the camera up here and get to removing at least one of the cab lights first. We're gonna do the driver's side one. I usually like to start with one, test it, same with tail lights, do one, test it, and then go from there. Because if you're gonna have to make any modifications, it's a lot easier to do it right when you start on the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, etc. versus do them all, then test it, then you gotta go back and redo everything. So let's get to doing the first one right now. Here she be. Looking good. I'll have the wife hold the camera so I can go turn it on and stuff. Make sure you get my good side. What the heck? <laughs> I literally tested that before I put it on. <laughs> now we're gonna show okay, you the you cab lights. You did that way too early. Oh, I thought you, I heard the flick. Okay, here you go. Okay, now we're gonna show you the cab light. So we got them all done when I first turned it on. Like I tested them all before I put the actual lenses on, you know, like tested the bulbs, make sure they were seated nice and tight. And I tested the end one on the passenger side and then I go to flip it on and then it, of course, turned the camera on. Then it, there's no light. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, so we got all the LED cab lights put in and the clear lenses, the LED headlights with the clear lenses from the other day. Show them around Ray again, let them see how pretty it is. Macho says, purdy. See how purdy it is. Not dad, the truck, buddy. And I really like these headlights. You like them right here? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. He's like, yes, freshly manicured sand. This is gonna feel good on my butt. Back on me, come on, let's go. Main, main event here. What I was saying was, they said the truck started kinda hard the first like two days I owned it, and I didn't really know why. It was kinda doing the thing that Rosine was doing a little bit, but it's a little bit different, obviously. Funny thing is, once I switched, and that was when it was on the rear fuel tank, then I switched it to the front fuel tank, so I'm trying to entertain the child, and film, and horn, and cars, and motorcycles, and mowers, and can we move? Like <laughs> tomorrow. This is this is just Yeah. Anyways, Why is it um so long? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm so distracted with so much freaking noise going on. Just add a plane into the mix. I'd switched to the front tank. I think it was on the rear tank for the first two days when I had it, and it was starting kinda hard. And then it would be totally fine once you got it started though. Totally fine once you got it started. Started a little bit hard in the beginning, you know, when you go to crank it, you gotta like crank it for a couple seconds, then stop, and then crank it again for a couple seconds and start it up. I don't know why, but I switched it to the front tank and I've kept it on the front tank since. And the thing starts up instantaneously every single time now. Maybe there's some kind of a small fuel air leak in the line or something somewhere for the rear tank or I don't know how that works on these trucks. It almost sounds like, and seems like maybe it's getting a little bit of air in the line somehow when it's on the rear tank, and it doesn't do it when it's on the front. Ever since I switched it to the front tank, and as soon as they touch the key, it doesn't even matter if I let the glow plug cycle or not, I can just get in, hit the key, and it just be like, boom, boom, just fire right off instantly and doesn't hesitate at all. Let me know guys, if you guys have ever dealt with these dual tank trucks, have you guys ever had that issue? And if so, where's the best place to start with trying to resolve if there is air in the line going to one of the tanks versus the other? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. So let me know if there's any kind of remedy for that issue. I would hate to go through replacing the glow plugs and the relays and all that stuff. Not that it's the worst thing in the world, but it would just be kind of annoying to go do all that and then it doesn't fix the issue is my point So I'd rather know for sure what it is versus spending a bunch of money and time trying to fix something That's not the issue at all and then just wasting a bunch of time when it's something completely different If you guys are wanting to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash right now Every one dollar is five entries to win but the giveaway ends in two weeks This is your last 14 day reminder to get entries in towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. Guys, the odds are a lot higher than you realize, so I wouldn't waste any time. Get in while you can. You can buy a hat, shirt, hoodie, t-shirt. We got backpacks, cups, mugs, tumblers, I mean, koozies and freaking fireproof coveralls for shop work, all kinds of stuff. I mean, if you guys wanna get in on that, 
buy anything you like on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. Giveaway ends on June 14th. Now we're gonna work on removing the plastic off this chicken coop. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the bonus footage of taking down those tarps. I just thought, ah, what the heck, I'll throw it in there. It's just something I gotta get done this evening. We usually just tarp in our chicken coops every winter. That way it kind of turns it into a greenhouse instead of snow and wind blowing right through that thing the whole winter. And they actually lay eggs like crazy still in the winter. If you have chickens, you're wondering why they're not laying in the winter and you don't have them tarped in or something. And they're out there freezing, not comfortable, not wanting to lay eggs, all that out of the way. Uh, hopefully guys liked the way this turned out. The lighting did actually, dim a little bit even more so it's actually quite a bit darker now so i'm going to turn these lights on again so you guys can see everything in low lighting this thing looks so freaking good leds clear lighting it just cleans up these trucks a lot. I don't know why, it just does. I mean, it just gives them much, just gives them such a clean, clean look. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like this wheel and tire setup on this particular body style of Ford. I know some people don't, but it just fits it really, really well. And these lights look extra white but they're actually not, they're pretty, they're pretty red. Like you can see when you get up close, they're actually really nice and red. I don't know why, like when you're out a little bit, the lighting almost like makes the taillights look like they're super white. They're not white, they're clear lens with just uh, red lighting in there. Stay tuned, hopefully we have a new project here coming soon. Just trying to feel out when to pull the trigger on it. I have in mind the exact truck that I'm wanting to pick up for like a project. And I also have the exact truck I'm thinking of for the next giveaway truck. And so we're trying to debate on what two trucks we want to pick up. And I'll ask you guys this question real quick. Do you guys like the Ford change up? Do you guys like the idea of owning and winning a Ford? Or do you guys still prefer the option of winning a 12 valve, a 24 valve, third gen, you know? What do you guys really want to enter to win next and I'm letting I'm asking you guys because I haven't pulled the trigger yet I've got my eye on two particular trucks two different models one's like a long-term restoration project that's gonna get completely tore apart and redone over time that gives us lots of content to film and then the other one is gonna be more of like a clean truck that doesn't really need much of anything that's just like in amazing condition but it's not a dodge and that's all i'm gonna say but what do you guys prefer fords chevys dodges i'm talking about the diesels let me know down in the comments below and we'll get that going here for you guys thank you guys so much for all the love and support leave a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below subscribe if you have not done so yet and i'll catch you in the next one peace